Well, when you need uh, a rescue, you gotta call a Chevy. Because the Volvo just couldn't do it. They didn't have enough experience. I was gonna go back there with the Chevy truck and the chain and pull you back. Is there anybody back there to steer? Is, is, is the key still in it? Oh yeah. Okay, well then I got someone to steer it then. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, it's just my Chevy 305. Oh, wait till the oil gets warm. You'll hear her knocking. Kinda. got no power brakes but power steering still works. Off to the rescue. Well we made it back to the scene of the crime. I'm not going to be able to get this thing out with a two-wheel drive Chevy. I don't even think a four-wheel drive will do it. We'll have to do the track here because they already mudded this place. Well, it don't get any worse than this back in the back 40. Whole bunch of guys, a lot of mud, and no chicks. Oh well, let's go get the tractor. What happened to the hood? It looked good last time I seen it. Yeah, they fucking trying to get it open. They got <laughs> oh well. Whole, uh, holding it together. A bit too deep for something like this. It's only a 3.1, you know. Sick. Well, we got the piece of shit back, and it's hydro locked. We got a mud monkey working on pulling the plugs out. See if we can get her running. He used to be a grease monkey, but I gave him a one up. He's promoted to a mud monkey now. There's got to be one or two cylinders that are full of water. She ain't what she used to be, that's for sure. And we had a bit of a collision with the tractor and the windshield. <laughs> no brakes going down the hill, and while I was towing her back, crash. You almost got decapitated, didn't you? Yeah. Saw your life flashing in front of your eyes. Yeah, that uh, headrest came in handy. <laughs> that's a wet one, eh? I <laughs> Motor actually might be screwed. Yeah, oh, it could be. No, I just fucking crank her over with the fucking plugs out where she'll spit all Well, the Buick didn't spit nothing out. She was twisted crank and wouldn't crank. Yeah. Is it in uh, park? Still locked. Well, it, ain't quit, it ain't creeping. What? Crank's probably fucking dead. Well, we still got the back three plugs to get out. But then you got to undo those two 50 millimeter bolts and remove those front motor mounts to do that. Well, the morning after, got all the spark plugs out, she was hydro-locked, now we're going to see if it's going to crank around. She sure ain't half the car she used to be. Oh man, glass in my ass. Well ventilated windshield. The shit I put up with. Oh, that sounds good. She ain't fucked. Put the plugs back in. Cool. And of course, on one of these 3.1s, you got no room back there to change the plugs. So you got to take off the two front motor mounts, flip them up, get your big pry bar, pry the motor forward, shove a block of wood in, and then painstakingly get your arm down in that hole and get the plugs out. And they're out and they were wet. Well, all the plugs are back in, motor mounts are on. I just got done draining the oil pan and about one and a half liters of water came out of the oil pan, so that's a good thing I uh, did that before I started cranking it. So now let's see if it starts. This is it, the big test.
Yes! Sweet. I guess 3.1s are hard to kill too. Runs like new. Can't ask for better than that. No, I just gotta vacuum out the glass. There, all done now. All cleaned up, busted windshield cut out. That's called redneck air conditioning. If it starts raining, I can still move my head over to the other side. And I still got an opening to pass a beer through. Cool. Doesn't my Pontiac Gland P look great? And of course they spelt that wrong. And that stands for lousy edition. <laughs>